I'm going to give an update after completing uh, reading chapters 1 and 2 of Wade and also completing some problems. I did some problems in chapter 1. Uh, the book's turning out pretty good so far. I have read, uh, actually I've read up to uh, somewhere in chapter 3, uh, continuity. Uh, the book reads well, and so I'm making progress. Um, yeah, the, the font is relatively large compared to where I was reading Rosen, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going well. So I've been able to read, I've gotten stuck a couple of times, and literally I mean like two. Uh, I've been using ChatGPT, but I'm not going to put out any more ChatGPT videos until I've completed uh, Problems to Chapter 2, because that's really the ChatGPT thread that, I'm, that I've been running asking about sets and continuity and limits. So I'm going to have a continuity on limits chat GPT uh, that goes over uh, all the questions that I asked uh, when I got a little lost. Uh, but so far, so good. Um, learning a lot. And uh, yeah, just having a lot of fun. It's just uh, calculus, but a lot more rigorous. I uh, saw a video uh, of a math major. Oh, hold on. And she was talking about her experience taking analysis. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm logging here all the problems by chapter, by section, which ones I've done. This is something that I could have used when I, took, when I read Rosen, uh, because a lot of times I would, I mean, often I would go and say, well, which problems have I done? Which ones haven't I? Let me try a problem that I haven't done. Uh, now, one thing that I really like about Wade is there's not that many problems per section. In the case of Rosen, it was daunting. That there were just all these incredibly difficult problems. It's a good problem. It's a good thing. It's a good problem for a book to have. But at least with weight, I really feel like it's contained. Uh, anyways, this this person, this uh, she was a uh, former math major. I mean, I think she graduated. At least her her video. That's what she said. Was talking about how uh, all that analysis was was just a bunch of inequalities and uh, getting all the inequalities right. And she is well, yeah. I mean, she's taking the course, so she knows what she's talking about, obviously. But yeah, it's all about the inequalities, friends. And the, you know, in my previous career as a student, whenever I saw a lot of inequalities, I just ran for the hills. But boy, is it about inequalities. I mean, if you look through all these pages that I'm showing you, every page is just filled with inequalities. All of the proofs are about inequalities everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's an inequality. And so, it's a, you know, it's a very interesting subject. I love calculus. I'm having a lot of fun. Pascal's triangle. Some of the concepts that I've hit on uh, that I've encountered in the first couple of chapters remind me of calculus. Some of them remind me of number theory. Uh, it's it almost like I was telling my son the other day. It's almost like when you take number theory and then you take analysis, you're filling in the natural numbers, but the theorems look a little similar. <laughs> they really do. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, but yeah, she was right. And so I've been making a lot of progress. And I'm showing it here. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a lot of progress reading through the chapter. Uh, I used Hammock. Hammock has some really nice diagrams for subject, subjective, injective, one-on-one, -on -one, onto. Um, yeah, I've been able to use uh, Hammock for sure. It's just, uh, I really love the way uh, he did his explanation. So Wade... Uh, turning out right. I right, did some problems. Now, uh, I want to make sure that my reading of the chapters is far enough along that I can finish the whole book reading. Uh, I, I plan to take a course just as I did for number theory. So I kind of have the cycle. Uh, and it, when I started Rosen, when I started reading Rosen, I did not know that I would take a course. So I treated it way more rigorously in doing the problems. So I was like, well, this is my one first and last go. But since I now I know that this is my first of several goes. I may even want to take like the, the baby re, re, uh, real analysis and then the theoretical real analysis, the one for math majors. If I can, I'll do that one per year, one this year, the baby one this year, the really hard one next year. And so, yes, I'm going through the problems and I'm trying to get them all right, uh, the ones that I attempt. And I, and I think for most of them, I think I'm there. Uh, but for a couple of them, I'm like, you know, I don't think this is completely correct, um, and I know that because a lot of times there are proofs. 
but this will be revisited when I take a class. I'll just show up to that poor instructor with a bunch of questions. Uh, and maybe as I work through the problems, like I did for number theory. Again, I already have a cycle. I'll do that. Uh, I also found some handouts from a Dartmouth course with answers. I'll use those when I get around to going through more problems. But really, really, uh, my objective is to do enough problems to understand the material to the point, I don't want to get to the point where I'm writing down what's in the, it, what's, what's in the chapter, what's in the book, and I'm just transcribing, and I could be transcribing a language that I don't even understand. That's not the case. I have to be reading the theorem and understanding the proof and saying, yeah, I get it. And if I get stuck, then I go to ChatGPT, I, I search on the internet, uh, find out more. So far, I, it's only happened a couple of times, and I, and I, and I did get myself out of the ditch. Uh, for both cases, those two cases. So yeah, just um, just having a lot of fun. But yeah, looking forward to making more progress. Um, maybe like three chapters a month. If I do three chapters a month, there are 15 chapters. It's uh, January, February, March, April, May, and I have June and July. Uh, I want to be able to finish the reading in time before the course begins in August so that I can do a bunch of problems, but I also just want to finish the reading. So that's my progress so far.